Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Ishu Agarwal is Dhamtari. There is Dhamtari model. You know that? You are stayed in Dhamtari? Yes, sir, I have stayed. Uh, sir, I have stayed there uh, till my class 12th. Mm -hmm. And post that, I moved to Nagpur to complete my charter account. Then you should know what is Dhamtari model. <coughs> Uh, so may I know uh, in which, which sector does it connect with natural resources? Uh, so I have to read more about it. I don't know. Connected with forests, participatory forest management. You heard of that? Involving people in the management of forest. So there is a famous Dhamkari model. Hmm? So Dhamkari area. No, okay. What's your father's business? Mother's business? So my father is a uh, shopkeeper and my mother uh, is a homemaker. Uh, she also so, helps. Uh, she, uh, uh, sir, she does not help. Actually, uh, uh, she earns uh, income on deposits. So to fill that up, I had to write the uh, self-occupied, uh, self-employed. Your little business, I think. Uh, yes, sir. To fill that of uh, column. Could I left it blank? Housewife also can have money. And money. Uh, sir, but it was not. Uh, I wasn't able to fill that for fill that uh, dialog box. If I couldn't, so. Okay. Tell me what uh, what type of shop it is and what what is sold. Uh, so it's a it's an agency of an F FMCG company, sir. Uh, what is the products? Uh, sir, the products are like uh, soaps, soap, uh, sh shampoo, and daily use uh, material along with food products. What is the profit level? How much you, how, uh, at the, at what rate you get from the, that company and uh, at what rate it's being sold? Uh, sir, the margin that we get is about 2%. 2%? Two yes, sir. Only 2%? Yes, sir. 2% is nothing? Uh, so it's, it's, it's a turnover, uh, it's a turnover oriented business. Uh -huh. uh, the scale is, uh, the scale relates to the profit. The margin is very less than this, sir. So it's a large scale turnover. Wholesale. Yes, yes. Wholesale. Yes, sir. What is the turnover? Uh, so the turnover is about uh, uh, about one fifty one lakh fifty uh, one fifty lakh rupees, sir. About near about. Uh, Chhattisgarh. They have. I was seeing the newspapers, even this Indian Express, and the lot of big advertisement, full page. Some Rajiv Gandhi uh, yojanas. Can you name four five yojanas? Uh, so the prominent one of them is Rajiv Gandhi Nyay Yojana, which in under that Nyay Yojana there are some Yojana. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so it involves uh, it involves a direct payment of rupees nine thousand to farmers if they switch over from paddy to millets. Mm -hmm. uh, nine thousand rupees per acre per year. What for? Uh, for switching over from paddy to millets. Paddy to millets. That's okay. Uh, so apart from that, there is a famous scheme called Narva Gurwa Garwa Badi. Mm -hmm. uh, it entails collection of uh, cow dung uh, by SHGs and converting it to, into manure and vermi compost mm -hmm. and uh, uh, later distributing it amongst farmers mm -hmm. for uh, uh, natural farming. Uh, so apart from that, uh, there is a scheme uh, which has been recently announced in our budget, which is Rajiv Gandhi Bhumi Har. Kisan Yojana, mm -hmm. whereby landless farmers are given six thousand rupees per year uh, uh, for their additional expenses. You you must be having old age pension scheme also there. In the state, most of the states are having. So uh, there's a scheme by central government. I'm not sure so sure about the scheme run by uh, state government. States are also. So this this amount is other than that pension. Yes, sir. It's an additional amount. Then you have some other also Tendu Pata scheme and all. Yes, sir. What is Tendu Pata? So Tendu Pata is a leaf which grows on Tendu leaves, uh, Tendu tree, and it is used for <coughs> big manufacturing. <coughs> what is the arrangement of the state government with those manufacturers and forest department? Any idea? Uh, so the state government procures this from uh, Tendu collectors and at uh, MSP mm -hmm. uh, through TriFed. And later, it it is sold to uh, the contractors <coughs> who uh, further sell it to uh, BD manufacturers. The profit? There's some profit also. What is done with the profit? Uh, so the profit probably flows to the consolidated fund of state. Okay. 
profit is distributed among the collectors. Okay. Uh, see, there was some news yesterday. Kiran Majumdar Sa. Mm. He gave some statement regarding Muslim vendors. You read about it? Yes, sir. What is that? Uh, sir, she expressed her apprehensions about rising intolerance in our society, saying that uh, uh, her statement related to an, an instance where the Karnataka government uh, asked, uh, Karnataka government ordered non Hindu vendors to stop, uh, uh, to not be allotted, allocated shops uh, near Hindu temples. Hindu temples. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is the right thing? It should be done like this? Sir, the state uh, should. The state should respect the uh, fundamental right of profession of every individual, uh, irrespective of the religion he or she belongs to. However, uh, the state may regulate uh, the distribution of uh, the allocation of state uh, uh, state-owned shops, etc. Uh, but any such distribution should not be discriminatory. How it should not be discriminatory means means. The shops of Muslims should be there or not there? So it should be there in my opinion. I'll say that the Muslim areas where masjids are there, let Hindus don't come there, Christians don't come there, let only Muslims there. Christian area, let only Christians be there. So that will take care of sentiments of those communities also. Can it be done like this? Uh, no sir, I don't think this is the right approach. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, first of all, it contravenes Article 19 of our constitution, which empowers everybody to run a profession. So government is giving uh, to everybody. Are Hindus they are doing here, are Muslims they are doing here, are Christians they are doing here. It's regulation. Can it be done? So I am not aware about the exact legalities of it, but it on the moral ground. Okay, okay. these uh, members of parliament they have quotas, different quotas for uh, petrol quota, petrol pump quota, this quota, that quota. For Kendriya Vidalas also they have quota. That, uh, uh, if somebody of their constituency approaches a member of parliament, he can get admission in Kendra Vidanda. But the quota is very small. Manish Tiwari, you heard of him? Yes, sir. Member of parliament. He put up a submission in the Lok Sabha that this quota is there. It's very small and we get we are representing large section lakhs of people. And many requests come and if you are not able to entertain, they get annoyed with us. Either you increase the quota or do away with the quota. What are your views on that? You support this statement or you don't support? Sir, I think the, quote, the quota should be done away with. Because no matter how much the quota is increased, there will always be somebody who uh, whose demand would, would not be catered to. Uh, so, uh, instead of uh, giving quotas to MP, I think a better approach should be to uh, to try to increase the number of seats itself and allot the seats on the basis of merit. Okay. Just four or five changes made by this government in budget in the last eight years. Just in the budget of last mm -hmm. eight, eight no, years? No, budget, budget presentation and other things. Uh, so the First and foremost thing is uh, the separation of railway budget from the main budget ha has been done away with. Yes, yes. Uh, so secondly, the limit for FRBM Act, uh, which limits the fiscal deficit, has been increased. Two. Uh, mm, so thirdly, uh, the distinction between plan and non-plan expenditure. Three. One major. Uh, so uh, the government has increased the disclosure of uh, has started disclosing the off budget expenditure also which earlier used to it used to uh, get the funds through uh, off budget uh, so the uh, so for instance the loan by fci food corporation of india was earlier not reflected in the budget government any, any other date of presentation of budget Yes, sir. It has been uh, uh, earlier, made earlier. If you FMCG as your uh, mother is, parents are running the FMCG uh, shop, what's the full form of FMCG? Uh, Ma'am, it's fast, uh, fast moving consumer goods. Okay. Can you name some uh, big FMCG companies in India? Uh, Ma'am, ITC, Patanjali, uh, Hindustan Unilever. Mm. Uh, these are the few that I know. So, what is the prospect of Indian FMCG companies uh, with respect to foreign companies and how are they growing now? 
मैम इंडिया इकोनॉमी इज मेजरली ड्रिवन बाई कंज्यूमर एक्सपेंडिचर एफ एम सी जी एफ एम सी जी प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर्म अ मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ इट सो इट शोज दैट मार्केट वास्ट मार्केट एग्जिस्ट रिसेंटली इंडियन कॉरपोरेट्स कंपनीज लाइक पतंजलि हैव बिन डूइंग प्रिटी वेल गिविंग हेड टू हेड कॉम्पिटिशन टू एक्सटर्नल प्लेयर्स लाइक हिंदुस्तान यूनिवर so i think there exists a great market for them to uh, to capture but will uh, the companies be able to compete with companies like unilever especially when we talk about the quality of the product the packaging logistic so what is your view on that ma'am recently there has been a push towards atmanirbharta by the government mm. and the citizens have shown their uh, affinity towards indian manufactured as well as uh, indian goods uh, uh, which uh, which pertain to the indian taste uh, for uh, to quote the example of patanjali itself though the company is uh, not more than 5 uh, years old it it holds around 20% of the fmcg market currently do you eat maggi i don't know if patanjali has a maggi and you have a maggi available which one would you prefer ma'am honestly i do eat patanjali atta maggi oh, why why uh, patanjali you because of the taste because of the atman bharat thing that you are an indian Uh, no, ma'am. I like the taste more. You like more, the taste more, more than Maggi. Yeah. So it's because of the taste and not because of those emotions. Uh, not but by and large, what do you think? It is you are an exception here. But by and large, why do you think that? What would be the consumer? Uh, how would the consumer behave? Is it only on the basis of emotion, or is it because of uh, you know the product quality, the packaging, the presentation? Uh, ma'am. uh the packaging uh the taste and the quality plays a major role in this rather than the emotions mm-hmm. okay uh, you also mentioned about paddy to millets that there is a scheme in which you know the farmers are being encouraged to uh, convert uh, their crops from paddy to millets why do you think is a need for that ma'am our uh, the economy of our state is agriculture driven and mm-hmm. that too uh, is overly dependent upon paddy uh paddy itself uh in uh paddy requires a huge uh, huge amount of irrigation and that is unsustainable in the long run because uh it uh, the irrigation is mainly dependent upon tube wells so the government is uh, p- uh promoting the cultivation of kodo kutki which is a, a local form of millet which does not uh, uh require the such great amount of irrigation and it's also nutritious more nutritious as compared to paddy Okay. Uh, 2 December, your birthday has just seen, and uh, this is also a day, international day. Uh, there is an international day which we observe on 2nd of December. Do you know that? Which one is that? Oh, uh, ma'am, it's International Day for Abolition of Slavery. Ah, uh, so what was the theme this time? Ah, uh, ma'am, I'm not aware of it. It was racism. So, with respect to racism, ah. Uh, Where do you see India? Where does India stands? Is India a racist country, according to you? Ma'am, India is home to four of the major races of the world, and uh, the the very fact that we have been living in harmony for so many years, uh, I think it attests to the fact that we are not a racist country per se. Is it linked with a caste system somehow? Ma'am, there was attempt to uh, relate to uh, relate casteism to racism as well uh, by the earlier anthropologists, but uh, it has been proven now that uh, the uh, racial distinction amongst castes, based on the breadth of their nose, color, etc., does not hold good in Indian context. Okay, who got Padma Bhushan award this time? One of the you can just name one of the recipients for Padma Bhushan. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, I'll have to read more on this. You were the GK. I just read that you won the GK competition. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so was expecting this. And Padma Shri, do you remember that or not that also? Uh, ma'am, Bala Devi, a footballer from Manipur, she's been accorded Padma Shri this year. And from Haryana, anyone? Okay, mm-hmm. no worries. Uh, corporate governance so how many uh, can you name some important
committees which are there in corporate governance? Uh, Ma'am, uh, Su Sushil Chandra committee, uh, Uday Kotak committee and Kumar Mangalam committee, committee. Okay, and in a company, in a public limited company, uh, how many committees are there usually? Uh, Ma'am, in a public limited company, there is no compulsion as such of appointing any committee, but if the, uh, if the company is listed mm. or crosses a certain threshold, then audit committee, remuneration committee, appointment committee as well as whistleblower committee are required to be appointed. Okay. What is the difference between PLC and LLC? Ma'am, these two companies. These two are uh, part, types of corporate com uh, yeah. companies. So full form of PLC? Private limited company. And LLC? Limited liability company. So what is the difference? Uh, Ma'am, I'll have to read more of it. So my next question was, if you would have told me, I would have asked the next question, but right now, I'm done. So really, in 16 years, you have got your CA. Otherwise, normally people do BCom or BA or whatever, and then do CA for four or five years. So this is a good arrangement. Now, to me, there is an international system of reporting. We were trying to adopt that. Where are we today? Uh, sir, in adopt in in adoption of uh, international financial reporting standards, mm. uh, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs has notified INDIAS, mm. which is an abbreviation for Indian Accounting Standards, mm. which seeks to converge the IFRS uh, or International Financial Reporting Standards with the prevalent accounting standards in our country. Yeah, that's the intention. But you know, you had those Basel 3, Basel 2 and all that. So where are we? Basel 2 only? There are different levels, right? Are so, you aware? So, in my knowledge, Basel 2 and 3 relates to banking operations. Correct. Yeah. But still, other accountants are in that, but you must be aware of it. Yes, sir. Banking is bulk of your job. Yes, sir. So, where are we? So, we are currently in Basel 2. Basel yeah. 3 was uh, due to be adopted. Uh, yeah, to be adopted, not yet. Not yet. Now, I am asking you this because we had the, the great PNB scan, scandal, you know, Punjab National Bank. So, a lot of chartered accountants were employed there. What exactly happened? The PNB case, you recall? So the PNB case or the Nira Modi scam. Right. Uh, so in that, uh, the the accused uh, Mr. Nira Modi uh, used to get letter of credit from Punjab National Bank, hmm. and based on that, he used to get letter of credit, letter of guarantee. There's a difference. If it's a letter of credit, there's no problem. You see, LC if it is there, it's hundred percent safe. It's letter of guarantee, not credit. So please, you should at least know. There's a lot of guarantee in there. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. okay go on. And then? Uh, so then he used to get it discounted by foreign banks. And in lieu of that, he used to get funds. Uh, but however, later it was, it was proved that uh, this those letter of guarantee were issued to him despite having uh, despite him not having uh, securities uh, on uh, the, the required credit worthiness. So, there must have been a whole lot of chartered accountant involved in all this, right? At some stage, directly, indirectly, whatever it is. <laughs> so, what is the, I mean, can I say it? chartered accountants are being very untruthful, rather they are only taxable? Can I say that? Uh, sir, every profession has certain black ships, but to... But it's a large number. <laughs> The amount involved and the various agencies involved, it's not a very small thing. Look at Satyam case also, PWC, very well known in Tata Grand That's something very disturbing, no? It is. These uh, institutions are standing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't been necessary. You should worry about it. Now, talking of law and order in Chhattisgarh. I mean, insurgency type, you know. Andhra has been able to control the next door. Well, Chhattisgarh, the problems are so severe. What is the difference? In Andhra, what have they done? You are aware of it? Yes, what sir. Have they done? Uh, so, they've uh, run a, an operation called Operation Green Hunt, hmm. uh, which it's is. Like CADAP they formed. Yes, sir. You know, special training. Yeah. Uh, so, it was complemented by a uh, two prong approach of. Uh, development in the area and fighting uh, the propaganda war. So through this, they were able to c control the problem of Naxalism to great extent. 
However, yeah. to the great misfortune of our state, uh, this problem has not been solved yet in no, our that's state. That's what I am wondering. Why? They are next door, no? What is the problem? Why it can't be adopted? Uh, so the problem, uh, the reason behind this can be uh, uh, so. Firstly, the mouse who uh, who were targeted there eloped and uh, uh, got shelter in the Dandkaran area of our state to the south of Bastar. Mm -hmm. So apart from that, the to topography is as such that it makes it uh, very uh, difficult for the CAPF as well as local police to launch an action against the Naxalites. And also, apart from that, uh, the area has not been charted yet. Uh, so the uh, uh, police and the CAPF uh, do not know the exact locations of the uh, the commanders and the uh, high echelons of the uh, left wing extremists. And so, apart from that, it is uh, very difficult to distinguish the uh, local tribals from those involved in uh, extremism. So it makes a, it creates a problem in identifying and targeting them. Good. Now, uh, the Statish Gurkha was the earlier part of Madhya Pradesh, right? Yes, it has been carved out of that. You think because of this, Statish Gurkha has progressed much faster than otherwise? Yes, sir. Statish Gurkha has progressed much, much faster uh, after. So, you were admitted in the bifurcated states wherever necessary? Sir, it has to be on like case. Say, Bundelkhand, for example, in UP. Huh? Mm -hmm. The whole uh, district of Bundelkhand, they are lagging behind. So you think we should think of separating out Bundelkhand? Uh, sir, I think the primary criteria for separation should be the will of the people. Uh, if the people are willing to get separated and the necessary condition of lack of development exists, then surely this project can no, be... Yeah. Will be you think there will be doubt in that? Willingness of the people in formation of separation. Anyway, that is all right. Uh, now, budget, you recall budget, recent budget? And there are certain announcements in the budget aimed at ease of living. Can you mention one or two specific steps in the budget which will make our life easy? Common man or people paying tax or whatever it is. What exactly are those provisions? Uh, sir, can I have a moment together? Ah, please, to... take your time. Okay, let me help you. Suppose in terms of assessment, is there anything in the budget which will make our life easy when it comes to assessment by income tax abuse and all that? Yes. What is that? Uh, sir, the provision for faceless assessment has faceless. been made. Faceless. This is great, no? Other necessary query, you go <laughs> appointment. So that's, that's a great relief, right? Yes. Sir. What else? Anything else you can think of? Sir, apart from that, uh, <coughs> uh, so, in field of uh, starting business, uh, uh, the budget provides for a single uh, single portal uh, for applying for all the forest clearance. That's a single window. Single clearance. window clearance. That's a yes. Word, but that's a better word. No? Yeah, yes. <coughs> Which conveys a lot. That's good. Now, also in the uh, income tax thing, when you file the return, you get the almost complete information they have. So in future it's going to be much easier for all of us, isn't it? Yes. Even if you go abroad, everything, every all transaction, everything gets because of link of PAN and Aadhaar or whatever. Right? Yes, sir. So they will have all the information. So to that extent, the queries will be less for us, isn't it? Yes, sir. So these are very good steps. Thank you. Are you following the political developments which are taking place in Pakistan? Yes, sir. What is going on? Uh, so the Pakistani government is due to face a new no confidence motion, uh, which uh, which is believed uh, which it is believed that uh, it is not going to pass. So that's a major development. When going to pass or going to pass? Uh, confidence motion or no confidence? Uh, which is uh, it is going to lose the no confidence motion, sir? Uh, yeah, tell us, Imran Khan is going to be there or not? Uh, he's not going to be there, sir. Not going to be there. He lose to. his post. He loses he his post. He's the last ball. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what he says. So the opposition will win the no confidence motion. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> so the no confidence motion is passed, ah, or no. the confidence motion is not passed. There is a difference between the two. sir. Yeah, okay. uh, how does it impact India? 
सर रिसेंटली दे हैव बीन सर्टेन स्टेप्स लाइक द सीज फायर अग्रीमेंट अलोंग विद द मैच्योर हैंडलिंग ऑफ द मिसाइल इंसिडेंट दैट ऑकर्ड लास्ट मंथ सो इट शोज दैट द प्रोबेबली द ट्रेजेक्ट्री वॉज ऑन द राइट पाथ बट ओइंग टू दिस in if if this uh, dismissal dismissal of the government causes instability in pakistan then it may cause concern for india so both those both the things are done by army army decided yeah. there is nothing decided by the government missile thing also army decided okay let's see okay guys uh what is happening with labor laws any changes which have been made or any changes uh, which have been proposed so four uh, new labor codes were uh, enacted by the parliament in 2020 however the rules pertaining to them have not been notified as of yet why it is not been notified uh, so there has been opposition from the uh, trade unions as well as uh, trade union as well as uh, the uh, the section working section of our society so to that uh, due to that the government has been has uh, not gone uh, forward with it Tell me something about your district, Dhamtari. Sir, so, Dhamtari is a uh, Dhamtari. Dhamtari falls at the center of rice of bowl of Chhattisgarh. It's a major paddy producer of our state. Uh, to its north, it connects to uh, Raipur, and to its south, uh, it connects to uh, Odisha. And Dhamtari is also known as the gateway to Bastar. It's also a uh, it's, it's also a Naxal affected area uh, district. and uh, so its economy majorly relies on agriculture okay. what has been the success of uh, security forces in chhattisgarh in the sense how has nationalism uh, has it reduced in the last few years or has it increased so nationalism has reduced uh, to a great extent in uh, last few years as uh, the mha has stated that uh, the severely affected districts in chatisgarh have reduced from 11 to 7 in the past 8 uh, years okay some changes have also been proposed in the icl are you following that yes sir what are the changes uh, sir the uh, the parliament has passed uh, an amendment act to chartered accountants act uh, whereby the disciplinary committee under the said act has been reconstituted so is proposed members now like what is the formation now and what are the changes so earlier the committee had a majority of chartered accountants uh, but now uh, the the government has uh, the parliament has uh, uh, enacted that the majority would be of non chartered accountants do you think it's a right step sir i think it's a right step why uh, sir lately our profession has been facing the criticism of not acting against the uh, uh, against the uh our fellow chartered accountants who have been complicit in corruption and other cases so i think it would reinstate uh, uh the prestige of our profession as well as put to uh, put those uh, those uh, miscreants to uh, their right are so. these amendments also brought to icsi and uh, cmai icsi yes okay all right last question uh, you didn't do graduation at all or distance learning or something Uh, so i am a bcom graduate from ignu but the uh, so but chartered accountant is a uh, qualify uh, is a qualification which is accepted by upsc okay. so based on that okay. yes.